In this Asteroid Day exclusive, we introduce you to people who are leading the efforts to investigate asteroids in our solar system, including their potential for great destruction of all we find precious on Earth. All sorts of stuff, isn't there, are going around in space. I mean, whether it's little bits of debris or um, flecks of paint, or, or are we talking oh, yeah. about um, actual natural mini asteroids, let's say, um, all sorts of things. Are, when I got to the space station, um, I was shown where I was going to be sleeping and I was given one of the little bedroom areas and there was a window and there was a little pit in the window and I was told that oh, there was um, a, a little meteor must have hit that. It only happened a couple of days ago, but it'll be fine for you. We're currently looking at how we could respond to a whole range of space threats, whether they be space weather, whether they be space debris, man-made objects coming back to Earth, or even asteroids. The more we learn about all of these objects, the more we can be prepared for possible impact, uh, for preventing an impact that would be dangerous to us. It is time now for testing realistic mitigation techniques in space in an international cooperation frame. I suspect in the future we would have a range of tools in our armory. So one would be the gravity tractor, one would be a kinetic impactor. The gravitational tractor is a very elegant solution to, to this particular problem. Um, effectively, it uses the mutual attraction of a, a space probe and, and the asteroid to modify it, its orbit. But another exciting possibility is an international project involving the United States and the European Space Agency called ADA. An experiment which will enable for the first time a human-made object to rendezvous with a binary asteroid. Why do we want to rendezvous with an asteroid? Well, we need to know what would happen if one of these asteroids hits the Earth. We need also to try and avoid that happening. And this experiment is actually to try and see what happens if you hit an asteroid with an object. Using a technique called the kinetic impactor, so this is an IDA mission. So when you want to interact with such a body in order to deflect it, it can be very tricky, like a 200 meter object has a very low gravity. So basically, when you are on the surface of a 200 meter object, you don't really stay. Because on Earth, Earth we stay because it's very massive. A 200 meter object is very, very small. And therefore, if you move, you can easily go away. And this is why you need first to discover them all and also to be able to test your ability to deflect such kind of body. If there's one thing I learned during my years as an astronaut, it is that the key to success, to doing things successfully, is, lies in the testing beforehand and the preparation beforehand. Because you don't really know what's going to go wrong until you've done something for real.